Let's see. Um, Maria, can you take number two? Not quite there. <laughs> Go ahead and read it out loud and then just take a crack at it. Why did you measure the transmitted of uh, uh, five minutes <coughs> or on the sample? What do you what are you trying to make sure of by measuring for five minutes on a sample that's got no enzyme? Yeah, it's the control. It's the control for the experiment. It's to make sure that it actually is the enzyme that's catalyzing the reaction, right? So that's our control. The second part of that question says, why did you measure the transmittance for each sample before adding enzyme? Fernanda, why? Why did you why did you measure the transmittance before you added enzyme? Because the transmitter <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Why did you measure? Huh? For what? Pass? Pass. Why did you measure transmittance time zero reading before adding enzyme? Oh, is it going out against you? Because you're not that dang fast, right? You're not that dang fast. You can't get it in the machine that fast. That's why. Because it's not humanly possible to do time zero reading if it's not in the machine at the time that you add the enzyme. So. We're not fast enough, so that's why we do it that way. Let's see. Um, Scott, what's the active site on the enzyme? What does it do? Um, that's where it, it's able to connect and break apart the binding. Yeah, it, it connects. That's the binding. It binds it's the part that binds the substrate. So that's the connecting. And it also breaks apart. It catalyzes the reaction. So the active site binds the substrate and catalyzes the reaction. Let's see. Stephanie, what is a substrate? Yeah, it's the reactant in an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Reactant in an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Gabriel. What suffix do you find on the end of most enzyme names? ASE, ACE, ASE. That is the suffix on the end of most enzymes. All right, question number six. We already did this at the beginning of, of lab. What happens to the amount of substrate as the reaction proceeds? Decreases. Decreases. What happens to the amount of enzyme? Nothing. Stays the same. Amount of product increases. Number seven, what does a catalyst do? Doug, what does a catalyst do? Catalyst uh, it makes a reaction happen. Yeah, so it facilitates or it speeds up a chemical reaction. Catalysts facilitate or speed up chemical reactions. Cross out number eight. Cross eight, no, number eight out, get rid of it. And metabolism, what is your metabolism? Vicki? Is that how fast you can break down molecules? Break down molecules. A lot of people think metabolism and they think breaking down. But metabolism is the sum total of all the chemical reactions in an organism. And it consists, we can break it up into two categories. We can break it up into anabolism. And catabolism. This is all the reactions that break things down. This is all the reactions that build things up. Together, they are your metabolism. You said sum total of all chemical reactions, right? Yep. Sum total of all chemical reactions in an organism is its metabolism. We can break it down into these two categories, anabolism and catabolism. And uh, building up and tearing down. Take it. Right. And that's it. You already know how to do metric conversions by this point in the semester, I hope. So that one should be easy, right? Easy, easy. Yeah, it's easy. So that's the questions. Yes. Anabolism is that building up? Anabolism is building up. All those chemical pathways that build big molecules. Catabolism tears them down into smaller molecules.